Wow, we have found some blue eyes. They are an amazing Australian native. Let's take a closer look at them from under the water. Pacific blue eyes are found all along the east coast of Australia, from the southern coast of New South Wales all the way to the Cape York Peninsula at the top of Queensland. They can tolerate not only fresh water, but also brackish to fully marine conditions. They're very common being one of the most abundant natives in their distribution area. And they were first described all the way back in 1866. They can be found in very small to very large schools, sometimes having several thousand blue eyes swimming alongside one another. When they perceive a threat, the school will all dart off in random directions to confuse the predators. Blue eyes can breed when they're about six months old and only live for around two years in the wild. They have those very distinct blue eyes that give them their name. But the males also have these really colorful fins with lots of orange and white and black. But the females don't have much color at all. And they're generally a brownish yellow color without the extravagant fins. Blue eyes are great for keeping down mosquitoes as their diet is mainly insects that land in the water. So if you have a pond, blue eyes are a great addition for keeping the mosquitoes under control. And look at how blue this water is. It's so clear and so reflective. Looking at the top of the water, it looks almost identical to the bottom of the water. And there were not only blue eyes, but there are also these crimson spotted rainbow fish. And aren't they beautiful? Crimson spotted rainbow fish are also found throughout Queensland and New South Wales. And they have these wonderful stripes going down them. They have a red and an orange and a green and a black stripe. And as you've seen in some of our previous videos, they can get really colorful and even get a very bright blue patch on their backs, which you can see in these shots here. The blue eyes didn't seem to mind the rainbows at all. They'd swim alongside them very happily. I just can't believe how clear and blue this water was. It was definitely a very unique area.